What's this for? In the outside world, they celebrate a day dedicated to mothers. Even though you are not my mother, I wanted to give you a token of my appreciation for taking care of me just as I take care of this shrine. Wow, you see me as your mom? I can't help but feel bad for you. Yoremu, what you doing? I'm about to visit Yukari right now. Oh, I'm about to visit her too. What for? I need to ask her for a favor, but I wanted to check in on you first. Well, I was just on my way to see her. Wanna come? Sure. What are you smiling for? Is that for her? Yeah. Any reason why? Uh, it's her birthday. It's not her birthday. How would you know that? She said so herself. She doesn't have a birthday, since she's eternally 17, by her own admission at least. Besides, we both know what that is. That's her Mother's Day gift. No, it isn't. There's no reason why I would give her a gift for that. Come on, Reimu. She's the one who's been taking care of you all this time. Deny it all you want. You actually care about her. You're wrong, and I don't care what she says. It's her birthday present, okay? You do know that if you insist that's a birthday present for her, she'll give you the gift that gives on giving. The good old slap in the face. Oh, mind if I use your bathroom before I go? My dump truck has some trash to dispose of. Yeah, sure. Flush twice. Hey, Rimu. That's Miss Hakari to you. It's implied. Well, make it quick. I gotta go now. I just got a call from Mama. She's going to be visiting the Lainu Shrine. What? Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! If there is anyone I don't want to see, let alone visit me, it's Acacia. Don't worry. You have plenty of time to get ready. Just be back in 15 minutes, okay? Oh, hell no! What's with all the screaming? Why does Hakatia want to visit the shrine for? Oh no, not her. I'm not really allowed to meet her back in hell since I'm technically still being punished and have to remain here. But she wants to check in on me every once in a while. Not to mention she wants to meet you since you're my new girlfriend. Oh, hey! Don't, oh, hey me, she keeps sputtering that lie to everyone. It's not a lie. Have you forgotten what happened back in winter? Thirsty. That was an accident. An accident you created. Who asked you to get so close to me? Those dreams I'm having of you mean nothing. All right, enough. Let's get going, Reimu. All right, fine. I gotta go. Don't make any trouble. Have a nice trip. Mama will be here waiting for you when you come back. Oh, hey! What a surprise! Yeah, I'm here to visit Yukari and give her something. Oh, what timing! You're about to give her our Mother's Day gift! You're going to give her a Mother's Day gift? Oh, don't let a relationship of master and servant confuse you! We both see her as someone we can depend on! In that way, she's sort of a mother to me and a nana to Chen! Except, we mustn't call her that! Or else, you know, she'll grind us into dust! That's not a figure of speech, by the way, so don't say anything! No, no, I was just... Never mind. To a very special person, from your loyal servants. I would protest saying that I don't care for this particular day. I am your master after all and not your mother. And I am too young to be having children at only 6,341 years of being 17. But I like presents, so I'll accept regardless.
R. Domaine Rumia Musini Grand Cru, Cote de Neuys, France, 1787. A fantastic gift choice. I'm definitely going to get wasted tonight with this. Good job, Ran. I'm so happy to have you as my property. Oh, how cute. An effigy of Okina. You even had it cursed. You did well, Chen. Now then, Rimu. What brings you to my home? Nothing. Forget it. I don't even remember why I came here. To give her a gift. You came to visit her to give her a gift. Back at the door, you I said heard you the first time. A gift for me. What's the occasion? Oh, I thought it was your birthday. You know very well I don't have birthdays anymore. But I figured, you know, you're getting gifts today. And maybe I should give you one. I will happily accept your gift. All right, I gotta go, bye. There, Reimu. And what about your gift? Oh, I didn't bring a gift. You're not my mom. But it would have been customary to bring one anyway. You expect people to be carrying gifts when visiting you? Yes. After all, I'm the primary sage of Gensokyo. If it wasn't for me, Gensokyo would not even exist. I thought there were three of you. Oh, there are. But unlike them, I'm actually important. But fine, you don't have to give me a gift. Considering it's Mother's Day, not being your mother is enough gift for me. Speaking of Mother's Day, I want to see mine. Open a portal so I can visit her. Ah yes. You see that woman as your mother, right? She taught me everything I know. Yes, that's correct. Which is why I refuse to let you see her. Come on, I just want to visit her. And plan a breakout. You really think I can break the seal that Reimu has in place? Even I have my limits. Limits you strive to surpass. I just want to see my mom, okay? Why is that so bad? That woman is trying to take over Gensokyo. She will enslave everyone and force them to worship her as a goddess. She is planning to kill me along with the other sages. And she's doing all this to get more followers on her Twitch channel. Putting aside her minor evil tendencies, I just want to say hi, okay? That's all. The answer is no. Both I and Rimu have locked her up in that alternative dimension for the safety of Gensokyo and we're not letting her out anytime soon. Now leave my premises. Alright, I get it. Looks like you really want a present, right? So you do have one for me? Yeah, I got a gift. The gift that gives on giving. The gift of love making. Yeah, you want some of this, huh? I saw how you looked at me in the hot tub, thinking, damn, I want some of that. Well, here's your chance to find out why it's called the love colored master spark. Woody, wait for you, old hag. Let's head on over to your room so we can start having some fun right now. Well, so much for that. I had a feeling asking her wasn't going to work, but I ain't come here to ask for permission. I just need her to confirm mom's location so that this baby can get the coordinates. And with Raymu's stick that I borrowed, I can now visit her. Mom, are you there? Well, if it isn't my father's future self, it's been a while. Yeah, Mom, I finally found a way to visit you. Oh, isn't that nice? But I don't suppose you found a way to free me from this prison. Unfortunately, I can't break the barrier Raymo put in place, but I'm working on finding another way to free you. Oh, for how long must the Hawker family keep me in prison? How long has it been since I've been locked up in here? 100? 200 years? Around 22 years? Close enough, but I desire my freedom now, so I may proceed with my plans to take over the universe. 
Well, I'm working on it, Mom. I'll figure out a way to destroy the barrier and free you. One that doesn't involve killing Reimu, that is. If you two simply killed the respective Reimus of each dimension, this whole thing would have been over with. Nah, she's kind of my best friend now. Alright, bye. Have it your way. We'll have to go before Yukari and Reimu find out what I've done. I promise, Mom, that I'll free you. Yes, that's right, daughter. I have been trapped in this dimension for too long. But once I finally find a way to escape this prison, then I will take my revenge against the Hakurei family. And then Gensokyo will all be mine. Ah! What's with the lights out? I was trying to save energy. What do you mean by saving energy? You have been paying the light bill, right? Well, the lights are on, aren't they? I just don't want to pay that much each month. I only have enough on my savings account, you know. Savings? You did find a job like you promised, right? Job? Figuring out how to break through the Hakurei barrier and getting revenge against my enemies is my job. You haven't found a job yet. How are you going to pay your half of the rent? I'm trying to break into Gensokyo to destroy the sages and then save all of humanity, ultimately leading to me taking over the universe, and you're worried about paying the rent? Why is this apartment a mess? Why haven't you cleaned up if you've been here all day? I've been busy, okay? I bet you've been sitting on your fat butt all day writing your stupid fanfiction. Those are my plans for conquest and vengeance, plans on how to terrify the hearts of men into submission to me, their new goddess. Oh, you read was the part where I force men to kiss each other for my amusement and assume it's slash fiction. What are you eating? Are you eating my pie? I didn't see your name on it. There was a plastic cover on it with my name written on top. Oh, no wonder it doesn't taste like orange. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough of you. Not paying the bills, not washing the dishes, playing video games all day long, playing loud music late at night, using half of the toilet paper every time you use the bathroom. You're a ghost. Why do you still need to use the toilet? I'm not a ghost. I'm a vengeful spirit. Try to get back at the Hawkeye family and humanity as a whole. Of course I need to use the bathroom maybe every now and again. What you need to do is find a job where you're no longer my roommate. Hey, I need to live here. This is where the boundary between the PC Night 8 world and a Windows Canyon resides. Again with those weird terms? I don't even know what you're talking about half the time. And I don't care. I want you to pay your half of the rent or get out. Oh, that's my daughter's future self. Your future daughter? No, I said my daughter's future self. This is what my daughter is going to become. So your future daughter... No, 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 that would assume my daughter of this time nine isn't here. My daughter of this time nine is currently trying to find a way into the canning timeline, and this is my daughter from said timeline who managed to find access to this dimension, but for some reason her younger self can't access the canning timeline because of a paradox of some kind, which somehow doesn't seem to affect her future self entering into this dimension. But if Windows Marissa is correct, and this Yukari woman is capable of accessing the PC-98 realm, the past has something to do with the ability to access borders. And since Windows Raymond's Gohei happens to have the power of this gap head, which was caused by I glitch in the matrix from the previous incident, I sent my daughter, PC-98 Marissa that is, to PC-98 Raymond to see if she can also find a way to make her boy have access to the same power by somehow tapping into the abilities of a young woman named Maribel, who seems to have found herself into the PC-98 dimension due to perhaps the same glitch mentioned earlier, and if Rikako's hypothesis is correct, and she is from the far off future, then she is destined to become the Yukari of the Windows Talent due to Yukari herself visiting the PC-98 dimension, which has caused some kind of weird enigma that has made this Maribel girl to be both her future and past self. But considering that not only she transported herself to the wrong timeline when she was supposed to be in the path of the Windows Cannon, which somehow doesn't seem to exist, yet at the same time exists as a PC-98 can dimension itself in some kind of weird stable anomaly, there is an actual possibility that Yukari will become canon to the PC-98 version of Gensokyo, which is in cold Gensokyo at this point, but because the Yukari and the Windows Timeline existed after the PC-98 dimension had separated itself in the canon timeline, then 
there is a strong possibility that it's Maribel Jan Swanson to Yukari and this time that it could cause a distortion in the Windows cannon and perhaps even destroy it since there is no PC-98 equivalent of Yukari for her to involve from. Which is why I'm having Cass Marissa find her so we can figure out a way to make the past Reimus Gohei possess the same Gakko Bini ability using Wendell Reimus Gohei as our sort of interdimensional pendulum to put Maribel in the right dimension in time and to prevent this paradox from destroying on again so you went finally free from this prison. Are you going to get a job or not? Look at what you did. Your pranking has gone too far. You think it's funny putting a landmine under my bed? I was lucky the mattress absorbed the entire explosion. But now I lost my bed and have to sleep on top of newspapers. Why do you always cause trouble to my shrine? When are you going to put the brakes on that behavior of yours? How about you put the brakes on that mouth of yours? Because it's a motor mouth. <laughs> Bonus! I'm serious. Get your fat foot out of this apartment and go find a job. Stop saying I have a fat butt. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Instant dress. It makes my hips look wider than they actually are. Nobody wears a dress wide enough to be used as a window curtain unless they have two. I don't have a fat butt, okay? I only have slightly wide hips. If you don't have a fat butt, then explain the chair you are always sitting on. What about the chair? Look at it! Look at the imprint you left! That was always there. I've had that chair before you came into the picture, and it didn't have that print until hours later, when you started sitting on it. You must have left it. You think someone as skinny as me can make a dent that deep? That dark abyss could only be made by something wide and with a lot of pressure. How does a ghost even get as heavy as you? I am not a ghost, I'm a vengeful spirit. They untwin completely different things. Oh, is that so? Okay, then you can either be a ghost since they can't gain any weight, or you can be a fattest vengeful spirit. Alright, you can call me a ghost. Hello my Leo Powers, it's your favorite character Mima here. I hope you enjoyed the video, which I'm sure you did because it has me in it. But I'm also here to remind you guys of Complex Youngwoo's video animation projects. And if you're new here, then check out his Toho 17.5 animated short. And if you want to see more animated projects like that one, then consider donating to the Toho 15 animation project. A project dedicated to adapting legacy of Lunatic Kingdom as an animated series. There's currently a crowdfunding campaign to get a minimum of $3,000 to create a teaser trailer. If you enjoyed the content of this channel and want to see bigger and better animated projects, then consider donating on the coffee page. You can even order a commission for illustrations or animated pieces. Or if you're willing, you can join the Patreon for a monthly donation. Just check out the pages on the video's description. Hey, do you have the rent money? Calm down, what do you think I'm trying to do? But I need that money right now! You are the patient. These things take time. And don't forget, you still owe me the money you borrowed. Oh, come on. You know I don't have any money right now. Don't make excuses. Pay what you owe. All right, fine. I'll pay you, all right? I'll pay you with the universal currency. Oh, yeah, you like that, don't you? What are you doing? Yeah, you want some of this, huh? You get your hot and bothered, hey, aren't you? stop doing that. That's yeah, disgusting. I see how you look at me, fantasizing about me all night long. Now I'll make that fantasy a reality, I'm huh? not going to put up with this hey, anymore. Hey, what are you doing? Let if me go. If you're not going to pay the rent or stop pay me shoving back, me. then At least out you go. You're keeping me out of health hey, and home. Hey, come on, you're not I'm serious, are you? you? Okay, out okay, you double gets donate, you guys.